So how might a patient with gallstones present to you? Remember, a lot of patients don't know they have gallstones. You pick it up asymptomatically on a scan, for example, but there are different ways that they may come and see us. So remember, you've got your gallbladder here. Gallstones can form in that gallbladder. You have your cystic duct, which joins your common hepatic duct, which is going up into the liver to form your common bile duct. So bile runs down here. You've got your pancreatic duct, which is going into the pancreas this way, and ultimately it all joins the duodenum and your bile, which is formed in your liver and concentrated in the gallbladder, runs down here and ultimately should end up in the duodenum. So what can happen due to gallstones? Number one, biliary colic. This is when you get blockage of one of the ducts and you're getting contraction around that stone and causing that severe pain in your right upper quadrant. It can come and go, it can be episodic. That's your biliary colic. Obstructive jaundice happens when you get a blockage in the common bile duct, so a stone gets stuck here and the bile is supposed to flow into the duodenum sort of dissipates back up into the bloodstream and you get the obstructive jaundice picture. Cholecystitis is really common complications when you get infection or inflammation of the gallbladder itself. So classic fever, right upper quadrant pain, your classic Murphy sign that you see when you examine someone. Empyema is a step forward really, so even further down the line you get pus that builds up in the gallbladder and that's your empyema. A bit different to a gallstone mucosal, which is when you get sort of non-inflammatory fluid that fills the gallbladder. Cholangitis or ascending cholangitis is an inflammation or infection of the biliary tree. So not the gallbladder, but the biliary tree itself. And remember Charcot's triad, that classic triad that happens in cholangitis. Pancreatitis, if you get a gallstone that gets blocked here by the pancreatic duct, you can get an infection tracking back into the pancreas. Fistulas can rarely form between the gallbladder and the duodenum, perhaps in a really severe infection. So stones move straight into the duodenum, can cause things like gallstone ileus. And there is a link between gallstones and gallbladder cancer, although very rare. So a lot of gallstones don't present at all, they're asymptomatic, but they can present in different ways. It's worth just visualizing this picture and having those different things going on in your mind. A lot more teaching like this on our AKT audiobook, worth having a look at that. Hope this helps. Hashtag can pass, will pass.